Hi, I'm Carl Schilling. I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network, and uh, I have uh, a long experience in working with uh, small public companies, even some larger ones, but I come from a background of financial services, and uh, part of that experience brought me into the investor relations world as well. So I'm speaking to you today as a CEO or key executive of a, uh, of a public company. It could be a nano cap, a micro cap. And I want to speak to you about a couple of situations that confront you every single day, which I'm sure you're totally familiar with. But we want to expose you to the opportunity because I've found many, many people sitting in your position are not aware of a, of a separate asset class, something distinctly different from the asset class that you're normally exposed to, which is your own personal ownership in your public company, your shares, your future growth. So today I want to talk to you about some of those things. Real briefly, I'll tell you why the Advocacy Network, my firm, was created. We uh, helped uh, create a scenario where we eliminated all forms of financial victimization. So we've helped save the public over $9 million to date. And we've worked uh, through that by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping people become financially independent. Now, you as a CEO, CFO, key executive in a public company are the type of client that we've helped create financial independence for. So let me just show you briefly what we're talking about today. This is just a quick overview. I wanted you to get an idea of the concept and then I wanted to be able to expand a deeper conversation about your specific situation and have one, uh, myself or one of our financial concierges to be able to explore with you and discover the potential of how we may be able to help you. Nothing gained, nothing lost, okay? So it's a, it's a matter of just opening a mind and seeing something that maybe you're not that familiar with. So let's get started real brief on this presentation. Let me get a screen up and basically show you a little bit about what we're talking about. So we want to talk to you about the potential liquidity wealth planning kind of scenario, right? We want to show you today that you can create tax-free income with some of that liquidity and that you also can uh, create an asset protection scenario for yourself. Presently, your situation is you are a public company. You know all of the, uh, the, the foibles, the hurdles, the expenses, and everything that goes with being a public company. But your wealth creation right now is built upon your shares, your ownership, your equity, as it were, and your execution into the future is going to determine whether your shares grow in value or they lose in value. Now, a lot of that is outside your control because the market is a bit fickle, and I've seen many companies execute tremendously, do a wonderful job, and still see their shares lose value. So, uh, you know, there's always that side of the coin. So, but the real situation is you're in a non-liquid situation. You predominantly own uh, X amount of the company. You own X amount of shares. You have a program where you're probably accumulating more shares, whether it's via options or some form of, uh, of, uh, of ongoing capitalization, but you're probably creating more wealth. But that wealth is all illiquid right now. It's all based on the value of your shares that you're holding, okay? It's in a 100% risk scenario. The risk is simply that those values grow over time or those values lose over time. I worked recently, a couple of years ago, with a, with a, a, a small company where the owner owned about $11 million uh, in wealth. It was all on paper. And uh, we showed him how to get some of that out. And it worked out really well because within six months, his $11 million in wealth had turned into way less than $500,000. But we'd already showed him how to get 20 to 25 percent out of there, so he was in a pretty good scenario uh, going forward. When the company unfortunately uh, ended up um, tanking, okay. So we want to show you some risk mitigation, and we want to also show you how to protect some of the asset exposure. Because don't forget, as a public company executive, as an owner. Uh, within that equity of the company as possibly chairman of the board or all those exposures, you have uh, asset exposure, okay? You have liability. So you want to be able to get some of that out and protect it. And potentially right now, 
you don't have much option because you really can't sell your shares in the open market. It's not that it's illegal, but you would have to report. And we all know that those filings show investors, potential investors that, oh, the CEO is selling shares. So it's really not an option. So you have to figure a way to get some money out, get some liquidity and get it into another vehicle, which can do some, some things for you. So we talk about creating a new asset class and what we do. It's a simple procedure where we show you how to get some uh, capital out of the company, uh, non-publicly uh, announced, nobody's going to know. It's uh, totally a private transaction. We get it into a life insurance contract, which most people have no clue how to use or what goes on with life insurance. Later, it can create tax-free income. It creates a leverage situation for future uh, opportunities because there's a pool of cash there that you can use that way. Uh, it also creates uh, the ability to uh, borrow th that cash back to yourself through the company, creating tax advantages, all kinds of things. And at the same time, we'll show you it creates a tax-free estate for uh, your legacy. And also, lastly, it creates a tremendous asset protection, unpierceable arena where you can have wealth uh, included. So, Instead of being exposed with all of your wealth to risk, because basically that's what you have, the risk is either you're growing or you're, 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 for, you're uh, uh, having a loss on paper. None of it counts until it's all cashed in, but let's be, be honest, it's either going up or it's going down. And we wanna show you how to mitigate that risk. So here's what we're really talking about. Presently, uh, we, you know, you have a hundred percent, uh, maintained, uh, of your wealth in your company execution based on the future. It's all in your shares, right? But the risk includes market risk, interest rate risk. You've got a risk for your own sector or industry, whatever your company's participating in, there's risk on that. You have capital risk. You know, can you get enough capital to expand the company when you need it or, can you get enough capital in to handle uh, the different uh, hurdles that, and obstacles that you'll face as a company, okay? Uh, and, and, a, and a risk that no one pays much attention to, depending on the industry or sector you're in, is a human capital risk. Can you get the right people at the right time in the right place uh, to do the right things in order for you to uh, propel your company forward? Now, on the mitigation side, what we're talking about is getting 20 to 25% of that illiquid wealth into a separate asset class, something that's going to be tax advantaged. It'll create the tax-free estate I discussed. It'll create tax-free income when the time comes at any point that you want tax-free income. It'll create the cash pool for leverage opportunities. And most importantly, it will be a contract that nobody can pierce. So liabilities and, and things that happen within the company this will be a place where some of your wealth is protected on an asset protection basis. So this is a solution that deserves a lot more time. What I wanted to do was simply introduce you to the concept and see if we can get a, a, a conversation. You know, let's discuss a specific plan that fits you and included in any key executives that you have that you want to also offer this kind of protection for because these key executives are in the same uh, uh, status sometimes as you, not as many shares, but a lot of their wealth is locked into the actual performance of the company. Okay, so you can call me direct at 321-947-3220 or you have been uh, on an outreach from a financial concierge and you can speak directly with them because they might have shared this video uh, marketing with you. Now, this is an interactive video. So there is a white paper attached, you'll see it. Uh, and then there is also a, a soft phone that comes up, which you can uh, call directly, okay? Now, that soft phone will be hooked into whoever provided the uh, video for you. If it's one of my con financial concierges, one of my associates, then it'll be them. But I'm always available. And we've done uh, hundreds of these plans. These are uh, dynamically suited to uh, overcome the uh, illiquidity and the risk that you have in having all your wealth totally exposed within your business and what you wanna do in the future. <laughs> and certainly we know that you want to grow 
and become a tremendous company. And, we, and that I can appreciate. But at the same time, it's important that you balance your asset classes and you get some of that wealth into a well-established, protected, alternative asset class. And there's nothing better than a properly designed life insurance contract. So again, I'm Carl Schilling. I want to thank you so much for your time here today. And um, I uh, look forward to um, speaking with you in the future. Uh, again, you can reach me, uh, as we said, you can reach me at uh, 321-947-3220. Uh, or um, call us direct on this uh, interactive video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care.